The Civil Engineering and Development Department says climate change is increasing the risk of severe landslides that could cause multiple fatalities and extensive economic loss. Still, as our Joel De Silva reports, the government has pledged to continue strengthening Hong Kong's slopes in order to prevent such catastrophes from happening. Heavy rain in late March, perhaps a taste of the severe weather to come. Ao Yong Yan Sang, deputy head of the Geotechnical Engineering Office of the Civil Engineering and Development Department, says last week's amber rainstorm is unusual this early in the year. And at a pre-wet season media briefing on slope safety today, he noted that climate change is likely to increase both the frequency and intensity of extreme rainfall events, a trend that will raise the chances of fatal landslides. Still, Ao Yang believes Hong Kong is well prepared. It is difficult to, to tell whether there is an uh, increased risk for this particular year, but the trend, the, uh, the risk due to the extreme weather is increasing. But as I said that, uh, we also uh, carry out, uh, we have uh, effective strategies to reduce the risk. So the end result is uh, we hope we could contain the overall risk within the, uh, the small, as small as possible. After severe landslides occurred here in 2005 and 2008, the Civil Engineering and Development Department decided to include this natural slope on the mid-levels in its landslip prevention and mitigation program. The safety enhancement works should be concluded by the end of the year. The government has pledged to continue intensifying landslide prevention work such as this one on Bowen Road, which includes the construction of concrete barriers and the installation of steel fences. Every year, under the landslip prevention and mitigation program, the government makes safety improvements on 150 man-made slopes, assesses the safety of 100 privately owned slopes and carries out studies and necessary risk mitigation works on 30 natural hillside catchments. Joanna Silva, TVB News.